This is future me. No, you do not get to see what my hair looks like right now. Um, I just wanted to do a quick intro before all of this starts. I started out with some dreads that were originally locks that you could crochet into your braids, but I did it a different way so that it looks more natural looking. It looks more natural looking. And um, after that, I cut all the color out of my hair and then dyed it. And you're going to see what it um, is at the end of this. Yeah. Okay, that's all I'm going to say for now. Um... Alright, so this is me with my dreads still in. Just going to go ahead and take them out. So the way that I initially put them in is that I had some crochet locks. I had like a piece of my hair in a rubber band and then I would put it through. And then I would take that little piece of hair that I had and uh, wrap it around the dread that I just looped in. And then I took apart another dread and just wrapped it around where my hair was so that it would blend in. And I would put a rubber band on it if it wouldn't stay, or I would just put on some um, hair sealant. What? What is the word for it? Gel. Yep. And then there it, it's it's gone. There it is, just not there anymore. Oh, look at my dog, so cute. Over the floor. And so after I washed it and everything, it looked a lot better. <laughs> um, so now I gotta figure out how to get all of it out. So after I go went ahead and did my whole routine of washing, leaving, all that type of stuff, I just went at it and cut off all of the green parts. So it ended up like this. The front was really short and the back ended up really long. And I got most of it out, but if you look closely, you could definitely still see some. But I mean, who's gonna notice, right? It's gonna be covered up with another color anyway. The day before I'm bleaching my hair and dyeing and everything. So I'm gonna be putting some like a mask type of thing on my hair before tomorrow, let it set overnight so that it'll probably be less damaging. So I looked up online and it said that you should use uh, coconut oil. I don't have coconut oil right now, so I'm using avocado oil. Basically, I'm just gonna put it on my scalp to burn. I'm gonna put on my scalp all the way to my hands and like massage it in without wetting it. So this is what I'm going to be using on my hair. Um, first of all, I've got the bleach. It's going to be Kaleida Colors. This blue one that's supposed to be for all hair. It says that it lightens your hair up to six levels, which is good because look at how dark this is. <laughs> so there's my bleach. My developer got 40 because of how dark this is. Um, again. <laughs> I'm not a hairdresser, by the way. I did ask for um, advice from a family member that is a hairdresser, so I'm not doing this completely blindly. But 
basically, yeah, I'm gonna be using this developer with this bleach. And the color I ended up getting was copper. It's a really orangey type of color, and it's true tones for dark hair. And the reason why it's for dark hair is because it's got a little bit of bleach in it. Um, so even though I'm gonna bleach my hair, it's gonna be lifted a little more after I put the color in, which is gonna make it a lot more bright, which is what I wanted. Also doing after color sealer and Opalux, definitely, because my hair is going to be a complete mess after this. Hello. Alright, so onward to the bleach. I'm taking in the Collada colors and just gonna take a scoop of it and put it right in the bowl. If I can open the bag, please. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. So just taking a scoop, full scoop. And just gonna go ahead and put that in the bowl. Next, Fort of Volume Developer. Two scoops of that. Doing that one to two ratio. Gonna mix it up. I made the mixture three to four more times in order to fill it, and then I refilled the bowl again so it would actually cover everything. That's what it looks like on. And then I left it in for an hour, but it took like an hour to put it all on, so... I mean, it was longer than that, if you count it all together. Afterwards, and now it's time for color. The copper, we put that in the bowl. As you can see, it's obviously not enough, which will be a problem later on. Some more because it wasn't enough. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna go there now. It's it's currently in my hair. Let's. Um, now I gotta make sure I can do all of this before my next class. I left it on for 20 minutes or so, and because it had bleach in it, it lifted it lighter. And before the reveal, I'm going to show you how it got back to being healthy, so you can skip if you want, but I used all of this Opalex and the color sealant. I'm going to rinse out, after I rinsed out the color, I put in this um, color sealant. I put that on, and then I used the Opalex number three. Left it in for 10 minutes, rinsed it out, and right now I have, well, nope. <laughs> and then I use, and then I use number four, the shampoo, rinse that out, and right now I have this in my hair, so I have to put it on after shampooing, so it's in my hair right now, <laughs> and then after that I'm going to do the conditioner, and I think there's something else that I have to do after that, but that's all I have right now. And then afterwards, I did the Afigy protein treatment because it was definitely still needed. And here it is! Yay! Look at that orange! Look at that um, curliness! Look at that mullet going on! Alright, this is the finished product. Well, the finished product weeks later as you can see my roots are starting to grow in but it's not too bad and honestly it adds a little bit of dimension and this is also after I put in the rest of the Opalux um, bond building treatment I did the whole thing from number zero all the way to seven except for one I didn't have one but it still worked pretty well <laughs> Like, my curls have regained their shape, 
whenever I bleach my hair, it gets less curly and more wavy instead of like my natural hair coilage. So um, after doing the Opalex, it really brought it back and it's still shiny and healthy and um, beautiful. <laughs> So, I've been wanting to get a mullet for a while, but um, when I cut all the green out of my hair, it used to be blue, but it turned green. When I cut all of that out, of, when I cut all of that out of my hair, it automatically became a mullet because um, as it was growing out, when I still had the color in, I would cut the back of this because um, it was already short in the back because I was growing out my um, undercut. So I would cut out the color as it was coming in, and so I had barely had any color down here. And that's why this ended up being long, and this was short. And so, um, when I cut off the front, it was like this short, and I was like, nope, that is not going to be a good time. But uh, eventually it like regained a shape that I actually like, and now it looks like this. So, um... I guess I'll list everything that I used down in the description in case anybody wants to use it like I did. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. So I will see you later. Thanks for watching this video, really appreciate it. Um, if you want to see um, how I did the dreads that I had at the beginning of this, I will definitely show you next time I put my dreads in. Because I know that little tutorial doesn't really show that easily or effectively. And uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to be doing next, but I really like how this turned out. So I might just have a mullet for like two years instead of like whatever I had before this. Okay, um, have a good day. Bye. <laughs>